Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island. We're going to be reviewing the most anticipated media player, the BMC 20R from Bridge Electronic Entertainment. Now, this is the unit that can record. So instead of just playing back all the media that you have, you can actually record from a digital box, uh, be it a, a high def tuner for your TV or uh, from an actual cable box or from a satellite receiver really cool stuff with this model here now it can handle up to a one terabyte uh, hard drive internally uh, and the nice part is that it can record via the USB ports out of the back as well so if you have an external hard drive it can record onto that or onto a uh, thumb drive or an SD card which is uh, quite the novelty piece now playback options you've got the in uh, 720p and 1080i we've got MPEG-4 also in the real network options the RM that's the RM D as well, level 9, up to 480p for streaming, which is really cool stuff. Uh, MPEG-2 up to 1080i, ISO, IFO, VOB, and TS format. Again, that's where your uh, DVD formats come in as well in MPEG-1, so that's VCD-1 and VCD-2, also SVCD. So, now as you can tell, my narrations aren't necessarily following what's on screen. But it's going through all the actual on-screen menu options, which are being played back here. What I'm going to do is talk about some of the highlighted features that the machine can do and some of the cool things that you might want to do with it as well. Now one of the, the, the things that you're seeing here is that this video that you're watching was actually recorded using a, a BMC 20R. Um, so we actually plugged our unit that we were doing the, the, the presentation with into a BMC 20R to record the actual video that you're watching here now. Uh, makes it really uh, an interesting thing to do. Now also, we're using Movie Maker uh, to edit this video and add narration. And with that, if you think about it for TV shows or for any programs that you have that you want to do some editing on, that's probably one of the easiest and greatest things about this machine is how easy it is to go between your computer and back to your home entertainment system. No problem. That being said, let's talk about the audio formats that we can play as well. In here, I've got MP. I got WMA, ACC, DTS, WAV, AC3, OGG, AI, FF, and LPCM as outputs as well. So that's the digital coax and the, the fiber optics. So we're going to get our digital output out, right out of the unit. Also on the back of this unit is HDMI, which is great as well. It makes setting up this unit so much easier if you've got a TV that's got the inputs on it. And I'm pretty sure you do. Also, don't forget, this unit supports PAL and NTSC, and it supports auto setups through the HDMI, and it allows you to go through a whole plethora of resolution when you're actually looking at the um, setup menu. It goes through all of that. Now, on the recording side, just like you would have on any type of high-quality recording, you actually have levels of quality for your recording capabilities. So that's the HQ, the SP, the LP, the EP, and SLP. So that gives us five different options recording quality. That depends on how much you want to actually get on. Now, with the unit you can also rename folders really easily. So this way it records based on time and date and then you can relabel it depending on what the actual program is. So if you don't plan on doing any editing on your computer, that's, a, that's another great little option on it. Networking capabilities. So this way once you've actually, uh, you have programs on it, uh, or if you actually have a computer full of media content and you don't necessarily want to um, want to have to copy them all onto the media player nice part about this is that you can actually copy files or play files from your home network onto the media player or vice versa this also makes it really great uh, as an actual um, uh, for if you're doing presentations or if you need uh, a media player uh, in a retail environment to uh, show advertising and commercials really easy machine to work with so that's really nice as well uh, on the spec now of course you've got the, the LAN connection just to note you can also get a uh, Wi-Fi adapter for it uh, it's sold separately but it's a nice little option so if you don't have the capabilities of having a network to it uh, this little adapter actually gives you Wi-Fi options on it which is really nice it works on B and G so of course G being the faster and better setup for it um, talk about some of the highlighted features of course the HD capability up to 1080i 
most popular in the uh, MP4, SP, ASP, 720p, and 1080i formats, DivX, XVid, 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, the real network we talked about, MPEG-2 and MPEG-1. Don't forget, we've got a HDMI cable on the back side of it. We've got LAN connections. We've got two USB ports on the back side of it. Now, that's the nice part. But they put everything on the back side. So this way, the unit looks really good on the front side. Recording. So you can just hit the record button, and off you go. Another cool thing about recording on this unit is that you can uh, do, uh, you can set it up to record for so much time. So you could say, I just, I'm leaving. I need to start recording right now. And you hit the record button, but every time you hit the record button after that, it adds 30 minutes onto the record time. So if you're running out the door, you got to record that show. Bam, off you go. Nice part is, is if you actually have this on while you're watching TV, this is this is great. This is where your personal PVR comes into play, right here. This unit will actually pause live TV. That's right. You take the unit, you have it on, you're watching. It's constantly ready to record. So you've got it hooked up. All you got to do is hit the pause button. That show will pause. You're off to the washroom. No problem. Get a fresh coat. Get another bag of chips. Sit back down. Keep watching that game. That is how smart this machine is. And all you got to do is hit play. Now the nice part is if you actually started the pause and you've left it, you come back when you hit those commercials, you can start fast forwarding through them because you've actually recorded a, a 10, 15 minute buffer in there. Really cool stuff. Anyway. Enough of all the recording features, so it's really nice. If you take a good look at the pictures or on the actual hardware video, you can actually see how nice the, the unit is. It's all brushed aluminum. It's a gunmetal finish. Metal plating on the back. Piano black finish on the front. Everything is really easy to use. And to top it all off, everything that you see being done on screen here can also be done from the front panel of the unit. So you don't even need the remote if something happens to it, you know. God forbid the dog chews it up or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to let you finish through watching this. Now, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that gets covered on here. Uh, it browses through the entire menu for you. Uh, coming up is an actual uh, trailer uh, that's going to be uh, showing how the, the pitch quality is. Now, remember, this has been compressed down to go on uh, YouTube. So the video quality is going to be a little sketchy, but still a pretty good representation of what you're going to be getting. Now remember, TV shows are going to be recorded at 480i, the DVD quality, and the unit adjusts for aspects ratios for the 16 by 9, 4 by 3. So if you got a square TV or widescreen TV, it's going to handle itself really well. Now remember, there's the uh, component composite outputs in the back as well as the uh, HDMI, and it's all standard cable setups. The new film from Dana Brown is stepping on shore. say we're not, and I'm not saying this is the software you need, but great software again, Movie Maker is a great uh, quick and easy tool for this unit, and also uh, DivX software package, which is like 20 bucks online, so I hope you have fun with this unit, if you've got any questions, send us, uh, send us some questions, you can find our product on uh, eBay, and uh, you can also find it at uh, Expert Island. My name is Robin, you've been looking at the BMC.